What's up guys? Welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews and welcome to the first of many or maybe the first and only beard vlog here on the channel. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and honestly this is maybe the third or fourth time I've made a video like this and just never done anything with it. But I've had the itch on the channel to do something a little bit more than what we're currently doing. More than just the, the reviews every week. More than just the what's on your polls and those are going absolutely nowhere. I love doing those. Those are staying on the channel so don't, don't see this and get afraid that the regular stuff is going away. Way. It's absolutely not. We're going to continue to do weekly reviews and weekly what's on your pull list videos, but I wanted to add something more to the channel. So the other day I did a, uh, a live stream with Trevor over at Dark Knight Nation and I really, really enjoyed that. Um, so I'll probably start working in some live streams into what's going on uh, on the channel as well every now and then. And we've got one coming up with Trevor on my channel uh, here in the next uh, couple weeks. You guys will probably know about that by the time this goes up. Um, but I I also wanted to do uh, have a place on the channel where I could talk about things that maybe didn't have the worth of a whole video or maybe I watch a movie or a TV show that I want to talk about and just don't have I don't have enough stuff there for a whole video, whole standalone video on the channel or, you know, just random thoughts on things or, you know, just anything like that. I wanted a place to put that and I think that's what this is going to be. So my plan for the beard vlogs or the vlogs here on the channel is once a week, I'll post one of these, uh, start filming probably on Wednesday every now and then if I read a comic or watch a TV show, like I said, that I want to talk about and I don't want to do like a full video on it, I'll probably film one of these something like this or if I'm running to the comic shop want to talk to talk to the camera while I'm in the car or something like that that will be um, something that you'll see here on this and maybe every now and then a little slice of life stuff I'll try and keep it like 90% like nerd stuff that you guys would probably be interested in um, so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try this like I said this could be the first of many this could be the one and only one of these I do or this could be like the other ones that I've done and no one will ever see this video ever and it will just go right into the recycle bin uh but we'll see we'll see so um why do i start doing this now and not before well like i said i wanted to do something more i've been really feeling that itch but also i decided it was time to in invest in myself so when i've done these before i filmed them just with my cell phone and they didn't look that great they were passable but they weren't quite what i wanted them to be so i invested in myself and i picked up a gopro hero 8 which is what I'm filming this on uh, right here, right now. I wanted to get uh, save up and get a really big badass video camera so I could uh, go out and film stuff. I've been wanting to do more skits uh, and eventually I have a pipe dream of making a short film for myself. Uh, but instead of spending like the twelve fifteen hundred dollars saving up and getting that, um, I decided to go ahead and spend the you know three hundred dollars or so on a GoPro as kind of an intermediate step. So we might do some skits and things like that here on the channel. I'm really going to start trying to. Um, um, use this uh, GoPro as a new creative outlet and start learning some new editing programs maybe try and do some uh, special effects kind of stuff so uh, as I go on that journey I want to take you guys on that journey with me as well so as well as talking about comic books and movies and all the fun stuff we usually talk about here on the channel I want to take you on that journey with me as well sound good awesome oh yeah what we got here we got some Batman 107 some new Green Lantern with that Dexter Soy art. A little Gary Dugan, Stefano Caselli Marauders. Some Excalibur, sure, that also came out this week. A little Scott Snyder with Nakatera, a little Tony S. Daniel too. Some Star Wars High Republic, Star Wars High Republic Adventures. And then one of the books I'm most excited about this week, that is Magic the Gathering. I love me some Magic the Gathering. You guys are probably going to see some magic stuff on the channel before too long. Starting to play paper magic with my friends again. Get start doing some deck building and stuff like that. Good times. I just watched this trailer for The Woman in the Window, a Netflix movie coming out in May. But it reminded me of one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movies. So The Woman in the Window is about a woman who is agoraphobic, can't leave her apartment, and so she starts 
you know, looking at her neighbors and makes friends with one of them. Then she disappears and then they tell her that that woman never really existed and she's probably crazy because of her meds. But that reminded me of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie, Rear Window, which stars Jimmy Stewart and Raymond Burr about a... Uh, world traveling photographer that breaks his leg and has to stay in his apartment and he starts taking pictures across the courtyard of his buildings uh in new york they're kind of like a like a block and there's an empty space in the middle with a garden and everything and he starts watching his neighbors and suddenly his neighbor's wife disappears and there seems to be murder afoot and there's like a dog that's um digging in the garden so he thinks there's a body and stuff like that it's absolutely amazing if you've never seen it you should do yourself a favor and and check it out also this trailer for uh batman along halloween looks pretty baller as well if i haven't mentioned it before on the channel i'm a pretty huge coffee fiend started back in college when i would start the day with a full pot and then probably get more after that that's what three years of nothing but engineering and math courses will do to you yeah see more coffee can't get enough of this stuff also, shameless self-promotion, Will the Beard merch, link in the description. Alright guys, so today I was at Walmart, decided to go down the toy aisle as one does, and decided to treat myself to this sweet, sweet House of X Cyclops from Marvel Legends. And now, I gotta figure out where to put him on the shelf. So I don't know if you guys have paid... Uh, close attention to what's going on on the shelf that is behind me in all my videos but this shelf right here is all x-men stuff so i got a couple marvel legends back here i got uh uncanny x-force wolverine got some classic suit forge then some other oops sorry beast sorry then the uh, 12 inch figure of beast from the 90s and then a classic silver age beast statue right here this one actually uh come is supposed to uh combine with all of the other classic x-men and nice little silver age diorama i've just never gotten around to picking up the others then down here, we got some more Marvel Legends, got some Nightcrawler, got some Jubilee, that 12-inch figure from that same series as the Beast, and then we've got some Bowen Designs uh, Nightcrawler here. I've had this for a long, long time. Really love that guy. And then we've got two sections of Gambit, because you guys know Gambit's my boy. He's my favorite. So got this 7-Eleven Slurpee Cup from when X-Men Origins Wolverine was coming out. A little hollow foil lithograph on there. I mean, it's not the greatest depiction of Gambit, but it's Gambit, so it goes on the shelf. Uh, some older Marvel Legends stuff, one of the original series, I believe, before they started looking like that. And then the, the classic, just kind of, I think, six-inch figure from that line. And then this is a little uh, drawing I got from backing a Indiegogo or a Kickstarter, I can't remember, for Alterna Comics. Just like a little quick... Um, there's Peter Semetti. He's the guy that runs Alterna Comics. And for like five bucks or something, I got this little hand-drawn uh, character uh, bust, which was really cool. Then over here, we got the, the Gambit from that 12-inch series. And then this is something I've also had for a long time. I got this back, oh, man, when I was like 10 or 12 or something like that. Which is classic 90s Gambit. I think that's Jim Lee art. I think it says, yeah, 1994 there on the bottom. Then, of course, Marvel Legends Gambit and another uh, Bowen right here. I do love the cards that he's got in his hand right there and a sticker that a fan, Luna Moody, sent me. And then, lastly, we've got this section right here. And I think this is where the new Cyclops is going to go. This, These toys right here are something a fan sent me, and I've really loved having those there. But I think it's time I'm going to push them back a little bit and make a little Cyclops diorama with these two Cyclops figures that he also sent me. And I'll, I'll keep the pickle because a fan also sent me the pickle because I hate pickles. And so, of course, he, he had to send me the pickle. Thanks, Adam. They're still on the shelf. All right. So I think we're going to push that back. I still want it up here on the shelf. Set the figures to the side. Got to keep the pickle. Got to keep the pickle, even though I hate the damn things. Set that aside for right now. Then we'll get get our cyclops set him on there and then get our other cyclops eye the cyclopses i don't know what's the plural of cyclops oh no stand up bud stand up or sit down sit down let's sit you down there we go and there you go we got nice little sections of a costume there i might move these because up there on the wall 
right there I have the uh, the 90s cartoon um, toy of Cyclops. I want to put that there uh, just to have like a nice whole little Cyclops section. So I may have to find somewhere else to put the Rogue and the um, the Gambit Funko Pops. Maybe I'll try and work the Gambit one in here. Maybe I'll move the, uh, the cup somewhere else and then put the Rogue somewhere. But there we go. So after watching episode four of Falcon and Winter Soldier this weekend, I wanted to go back and revisit Captain America, the first Avenger. And my daughter uh, was sitting in the room watching it. We were just uh, watching it as a family while we were eating lunch. And she asked, it was early in the movie, she asked, who's Captain America? And it was still like skinny Steve. And we said that that's him. That'll be, that's Captain America. And she says, when he grows up? <laughs> it was the most innocent question. I absolutely love it because, yeah, he does look like like a kid in those first little bits. And, and, yeah, if you haven't revisited Captain America, the first Avenger, in a while, it's it's time to go back because that is... I, I, there's not a MCU movie that I revisit that I don't like even more revisiting it a second time catching or third or fourth time catching little details and going back to the beginning especially with something like captain america the first avenger or even back to like iron man 3 i watched that one recently too and just picking up those plot threads and character development threads that we've seen culminate uh over the years and going back and remembering where they started and where they came from good stuff god i love the mcu so much hi holly I'm going to need my desk at some point. I need to talk about comic books on the internet. Okay? Hey. Hey. Can I have my desk? Where are you? You're such a goober. You going to sniff the GoPro? There you go. Give the people the close-up they want of the cute kitten. Okay. Or don't. <laughs> Having an alphabetized trade paperback collection. Basic nerd stuff. Having a massive single issue collection. Basic nerd stuff. Having that back issue collection bagged, boarded, and alphabetized. Basic nerd stuff. Having a list of what's in your boxes so you can find what you want when you want it. Basic nerd stuff. Being completely overwhelmed with how many uh, comics you still have to bag and board. Basic nerd stuff.